Good evening. Buonasera. Buonasera. And together with Peter Catalan, who is the executive director of the festival, um, I'd like to thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you for making the musical journey. The place has just been so inspiring. So we just kept getting the inspiration from the air, from the place, the beauty of the place. So thank you very much, Gennaro and Matteo, where are you? <laughs> for letting us be here. And um, so I hope that you will have as much fun and joy of music. And so have a nice journey. Thank you. <laughs> So the idea came together when my dear friend Peter Catalan and I were having a, one evening a glass of wine and speaking about exceptional chamber music, how it could be done today where um, great soloists come together in a very comfortable, inspiring place, rehearsing for one week intensively in friendship and in good mood to achieve uh, excellence in music and to be able to share with a small audience uh, because chamber music, music should be in a chamber and not in a big concert hall. So it's, it's kind of a dream project and Peter has spoken about Castello di Pastignano. So my husband and I, we visited this place and just found it just a unique place in the world and so did all my colleagues coming from all over the world. <laughs> This project began when I was speaking to my dear friend Mari. I was listening to her when she spoke that she dreamt about creating a festival of very high standard and quality of music with exceptional artists that she knew and to bring it all together for an impressive program, musical program. And as she spoke and she talked about this dream of hers, the only thing I could think about was this magical place that I had visited literally the weekend before. I had been at Castello di Postignano with friends to attend a concert. And I had fell under the spell of this magical, magical place. And I had met Matteo and Gennaro, the two architects who had restored this place so lovingly over a few years and brought it back to life. And after hearing their story and listening to Mari speaking, I knew I had to bring Mari's music into the walls of Matteo and Gennaro's Castello. Alors, euh, bah, en fait, je dois dire que c'est pour moi une chance, d'abord une grande chance et un grand plaisir d'être euh, dans ce lieu magique et inattendu où on n'imagine pas euh, à première vue qu'il va y avoir un concert, en tout cas pas un festival ici. Et euh, donc je disais, c'est une chance et, et un grand plaisir de faire partie d'une première, parce que c'est une première finalement, euh, premier festival euh, dans ce château merveilleux. Et euh, bah, quand Marie euh, m'a proposé euh, euh, de venir, je n'ai pas hésité une seconde. Si 
raccontare questa esperienza direi a un amico che è stata un'esperienza dal punto di vista umano e dal punto di vista musicale meravigliosa. Eh, umanamente ho conosciuto eh, dei musicisti straordinari e musicalmente ho avuto la fortuna di poter condividere con loro il palcoscenico della cappella eh, situata nel, nel borgo, dell'antico borgo e personalmente come italiano mi sono sentito onorato e orgoglioso di vedere il restauro effettuato in, in questo borgo che è uno dei 6.000 borghi eh, abbandonati eh, nella, nelle meraviglie eh, che ha l'Italia. Invito tutti a visitare il castello di Postignano e mi auguro che alla prima edizione eh, di questo festival eh, ne seguano altre. Buon ascolto. Io ho fatto tanti festival, bellissimi festival, grandi festival. Succede che in certi festival arrivano grandi artisti che però non fanno squadra. E questo è un gran lavoro di direttore artistico di festival. Signora Kodama ha fatto un grande lavoro perché ha trovato musicisti bravi, non parlo di me, parlo dei miei colleghi, e che funzionano insieme, questo è come un cuoco che cucina e per questo io penso un grande, grande risultato di questo festival, programmi interessanti con un squadri che veramente funzionano. Un festival che io penso che c'è un grande, grande futuro e questo festival c'è una grande, uh, grande possibilità perché un posto così, con musicisti così, con mangiare così e con Italia uh, che è un paese di arte, qua non si può perdere perché questa, questa è una cosa sicura che va avanti con grande successo. Heute ist der ähm, letzte Tag des Festivals in Postigliano. Ich bin vor zwei Tagen gekommen, habe mich sehr gefreut auf dieses Festival, dieses kleine, feine Festival. Es ist ähm, so, dass nur bei kleinen, übersichtigen Festivals etwas ganz, eine, äh, etwas ganz Bestimmtes und Besonderes passiert. Das liegt daran, dass ähm, die Programmidee oder das Zusammenstellen der Programme das Entscheidende ist bei den kleinen Festivals und das ist hier in besonders gut gelungen. Es ist ein wunderbares Programm, es sind wunderbar angenehme und, und, und freundliche äh, Kammermusikpartner und ich kann äh, nur für dieses Festival schwärmen, dass es hervorragend gelungen ist. My colleagues coming from all over the world, uh, greatest musicians from Russia, from France, from Japan, from America, from Canada. So uh, very, very lucky to have all of them here spending one week and we presented a program around clarinet, about harp, uh, six string players, singer. So it was a fantastic edition for all of us of the first festival of Postignano.
And so it all began. That was in October 2017. And with a lot of enthusiasm, both on Mari's part and on Castello Poseniano's part, we began this challenging um, project to bring it all together. And I'm very happy, I'm very proud to say that I believe our festival of exceptional chamber music in this magical setting of the Castello di Pocimiano has been a great success.